with your tight end off, instead of having him zone through the C-gap, you can go to the left. So you can run inside zone to your left. Man block. Man block or double or combo here to the mic. Boom. Combo to the will. And bring your tight end back and misdirect cross and block the backside defensive end. And this, a lot of times, helps you with your linebackers because they don't play downhill as fast. You're allowed, you can stay on your double teams, and it just distorts the defense, that action. So a lot of teams, including myself, like that uh, two-back kind of action, that cross action by the tight end where he comes back across. You could do that with two backs in the backfield and have your fullback do it. Same thing. It wouldn't matter. But that's a very popular scheme. I like it a lot. And it gives you a change up misdirection. The last piece of this is associated with inside zone is <clears throat> if they just put too many people up there for you to block, they're getting too nosy. So, for example, you could have your defense up there, but all of a sudden they want to bring this guy in tight. Instead of playing closer to the receivers, he's starting to get closer to the box to try to stop inside zone. Now, all of a sudden, they're doing this and making the ball spill back to a guy that we don't have blocked. So here he comes off the edge. So what a lot of teams now are doing are running, again, what you call an RPO, where you can run the ball and block six. If there's a seventh defender near the box giving you problems, then you can throw a pass off the seventh defender. And that's on your quarterback to teach that. So that's a new uh, thing that's really popular in football. Everybody's doing it, NFL and college, as well as high school. So you can go bubbles. You could have slants. You can have a fade and an out. Some people call that an Ohio route. But you can have different variables based on the coverage out here that give you options to the side the running back's on. If you were running this play with the running back on this side <clears throat> and they want to make this the extra player, all right, then you can have a glance or a quick slant on the back side as an option if they're bringing an extra player down. So you're in this set, bringing the back or the tight end across, zoning to your left. If they want to add this guy in to be the extra hat down there that doesn't get blocked, then you can RPO off the free safety on the backside single receiver with a glance or uh, fade. Just depends on what you like. Most people like a five-step glance. So that's just some different thoughts on our inside zone how we make some adjustments, some of the pieces that go along with that.